I am going to share with you how I curl my hair with my straighteners. So obviously this isn't a, a skin related uh, video, but it's a question that so many of you have asked, so I thought I'd share this with you. So I have washed my hair. I wanted to share with you actually what I've used on my hair as well. So I've washed my hair with Living Proof Full Shampoo because I want some volume. And then I have conditioned with Bumble and Bumble Thickening Conditioner. So both of those, one is for kind of volume and thickening. I like, I like, I just like some movement and volume in my hair. So I am so low maintenance. I actually washed my hair and conditioned it last night. I will actually go to bed with wet hair. So this is what it looks like the next day when I wake up, okay? So there's nothing glamorous about it, but I'm kind of all about quick uh, and, you know, making it work quickly. So when my hair is still wet, I will put some heat protection in it because obviously with the straighteners we're putting a lot of heat into the hair. Today I have used, or well, last night rather, I used the Redkin Iron Shape 11. It's a good all round thermal protector. I kind of spray it through damp hair, give it a comb through and then go to bed. I know I could blow dry it at that point, um, but I don't. The straighteners I'm using, I think actually the choice of straighteners makes a big difference to the quality of the curl that you can create. I've had a few straighteners. I have chosen these, José Hébert, because they've got a rounded shape to them. Some of them are a little bit flatter, but I find when you're trying to create a curl, this prevents that kind of too much kinking. So I'm turning these on and I'm going to put them on a high heat. So while those are heating up, I'm going to separate out my hair. I usually will curl my underneath first. So I'm not too strict with it. I'll separate out and just clip this top bit out of the way. So crocodile clip. Hold it out of the way, give it a comb. I like using a wide comb. I've got a couple of varieties actually. You can obviously use a brush if that's what you prefer. My hair personally, I find it just goes a little bit furry if I brush it too much. So uh, I've combed my hair through. These are now warm and ready to go. I very simply, I always seem to start on the same side uh, and I'm a left-handed so I always kind of start on my opposite side to which hand I am. So left-handed I usually start on right. Take segments like this, I come over the top, clasp, twist, twist and just come off the end. I then leave that like that while I work around the rest of my hair. So take the next segment, so clasp, twist, twist, come off at the ends. And I just continue working round, taking segments, clasp, give it a squeeze, twist. So I always find this side easier to do than this side. So at back of head, you do need to, if I come on round, so clasp, twist, twist, and come off. And then this side. Around here. So when I then come round to my other front section, whereas I naturally twist that way, I come underneath for this front section to twist, twist, 
so that it's kind of going the same way on those front two sections. So that's underneath. Sometimes I give that a little bit of a spray just so that holds slightly. Then I find it easy to, I take half of this. I then clip that bit out of the way. And I start from the back. If it needs a comb, give it a quick comb through. And then hold, twist. Twist. So then I'm working from the back to the front of my hair. So as you can see, I'm not meticulous about this. actually quite like it when it looks, I don't know, I want it to look natural rather than overdone. I try and start from as high up as I can to try and smooth these the little furry bits and then come all the way down. Slightly smaller sections just at the front. A little bit that I've missed. Don't be afraid to take little sections just to give it that movement. So that's one side done. And then background, icky. Thing is to make sure that the ends are in before you come off or again you can end up with a little bit of a, a kink in the end and that's when it doesn't look so natural. If I was going out I'd probably take a little bit longer but to be honest I find whether I take five minutes or 15 doesn't make that much difference with the, the finished curl. If I wanted it to look a little bit more done, I would have blow dried it first and then done this. If you blow dry it first, it does help prevent some of the furriness, but for day to day, this just is super quick for the morning. A quick Spray. Again, today I'm using Redkin just to hold the curls before I loosen it. I'll let that sit for a moment and then I can just give a little bit of a loosen to the waves. I don't know whether you can see behind. To add or maybe take a little bit of the fur out and just add a little bit of texture, I particularly love the Kiehl's Cream with Silk Groom. You need a tiny, tiny amount, like that, between fingers and palms and just rough it up through hair. I'm feeling ready to go. So very simply, how I do my hair quickly in the morning uh, before I head out to work. I hope you found that helpful. Please do ask any questions below. I will see you soon.